Hello friends and welcome back. It's of course me Alana and today I've got a pretty fun and interesting video. I'm sorry if my makeup looks terrible. It's actually what's left is yesterday's makeup because I ran out of makeup removal wipes so I just had to use like my face wash and a washcloth and I looked like a panda bear for a little while but that's okay. We're okay. We're doing great. I'm just going to make a trip to the Walmart and pick up more face wipes. I promised you that I would do a haul of things that I've been getting that's kind of like a vintage vibe. Because especially during the spring and summer, I get really into those colorings, you know, the, the, the 40s and the 50s where you've got the blues and the greens and the teal and the yellow and the red and you got all these vibrant colors. I love it. I go nuts. I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with the fact that I found uh, this lovely scarf. i got to untie it though because I hit it on my head. Ta-da! I can see you. But it smells like an old lady because I think it belonged to an old lady. I'm going to like air it out and give her a good old fashioned fluff and fold. But I found that it was like 25 cents. I paid 25 cents for a cute scarf like that. This, I paid a dollar for. This, okay, I put it in a baggie because it's from, it, it's from 19, the 1960s, early 60s. It is a Wahlberg handbag. So it is authentic vintage. But the beading, it's, it's stained. It's like, see, some of the nice ones are selling for... 60, 70, 80 dollars because it says in it made in West Germany. There is no West Germany anymore. So that's like invaluable history right there. This one would only probably retail if I resold it, which I'm not going to, for maybe about 15, 20 dollars. But like I said, I'm not going to. I also got a nice big bag of jewelry. Actually, it's, I put everything in the bag. And I've got things like I've got pearls, I've got a bracelet. I've got colored pearls that are like a pretty purple. I've got a Baru pearls. Gotta love it. I've got blue and white. I've got this thing, which I actually only got because I thought maybe my daughter would like to play with it. She does not. That was obnoxiously loud. She does not. I got red pearls. And then I've got the stuff I'm really excited about the pins. Now this is actually a pendant apparently because there's no pin on the back but I'm wearing it. I've been wearing it as a brooch because it is too cute. Then I also have this little number which is a bit more 80s style but who cares. I've got another one that is very 80s style because it's got more streamlined but it could also pass for like 60s you know the uh, space age time frame. I've got a Christmas one, being a tree, a happy little tree, and then these two that I've got in their own little thing, they are legitimately from the 50s. I've got this one has a cameo, and this one is this pretty little golden leaf, which I love. I love. I love them. Once again, I'm getting hit on in Second Life unsolicited because I said one thing in one group and that group seems to be like oh everybody here who's in it wants things and it's like no but anyway I also had ordered a few things I'm gonna insert a picture here it was Amazon I ordered a few vintage recreation items and they arrived today so I'm going to be trying those on. They arrived in one little box. I was shocked about that. That is a petticoat. This is a 1950s style dress. And this one is a 1940s style dress. This one I was super excited about. Because the picture showed the bracelet, the necklace, the earrings, and then... They threw in a ring into it, which was not part of it. I'm going. I'm excited about that. That was very nice of them. 
but these are vintage recreation. They are not real pearl, but these are all vintage recreation items, and I'm going to do a little fashion show for each item. Here I have the 1940s turquoise number. It was in a 3XL. It turned out a little bit on the tighter side, if you ask me, but it's still quite nice. The one thing that was interesting was the zipper doesn't go all the way to the top, but you untie the front so that there's still space. I admit I really liked this color. It came in also in a bright blue, but I didn't get that one. Here we have the 1950s style blue and white polka dot number. It has a nice little peekaboo spot at the top, kind of like a Superman emblem. It flares out and it's quite poofy and pretty. The fabric is really good quality. What's really for interesting is if you look down here, there's the petticoat. This really is a really great dress and a great petticoat. Lots of fun to dance in. What was interesting was it was really difficult though to get the zipper past the seams in the back, right at the top and at the middle of the back. I definitely see myself wearing this dress a lot. Here we have the pearl necklace and the earrings along with the bracelet and the beautiful ring, which matches so nice. That's what I've got for you today. I really had a lot of fun doing this and I hope that you did too. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and show us that you love us. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below and make that bell ring loud and proud so you know when I post because I post weekly, trying to get to more than a week, once a week. Bye, see you, love you, always thinking of you. Have a really great day. Don't let anyone get you down. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. And remember, do it with passion or not at all. Hang on. Oh.